My name is Phil Iron and I founded Core Lighting in 2008. Uh, I set the business up to manufacture or design and manufacture battery powered LED products that were wireless controlled. We engaged with D2M for some initial conceptual ideas and then once we sort of formed some ideas we then started to develop those into prototype conceptual versions. I think the first point of the process from D2M side of things is just jotting down a lot of different ideas, different concepts, and just working through them and sort of selecting ones that we think are, are most feasible. And then creating any sort of rough initial sort of lash up models that we can test easily to just sort of check the feasibility of the idea. There were multiple stages of prototype to get to, to where we are now. We're, we're actually on the third stage. Uh, now, but the first stage was quite close to where we needed to be, which for us was time-saving. It gave us something that we could test right from day one. One of the things that um, we, we really want to do um, at D2M um, is, is make sure that we're keeping the manufacture of a product in mind uh, during the design stage. The, the aim was really uh, to keep the aesthetic looking really top-end, uh, whilst moving to lower cost kind of technologies in terms of manufacturing and, and that's one thing we've worked closely with you on is to get these so that the, the individual piece part prices are much lower than it would be on a product like this. With your type of CAD experience and your kind of um, experience with, with making products that were manufacturable. We have worked with designers in the past who don't make them manufacturable, they just design them, they look great, they cost a fortune but they aren't necessarily fit for purpose and they cost a lot of money and they're difficult to make. We needed to create something that didn't contravene what was already in the market and we wanted to create something that was unique. Because it's an innovative product, we've taken the decision to file patents on this product. There are some fairly unique concepts in the design that we want to protect. Fortunately, D2M have a strong relationship with Wynne Jones, an intellectual property consultant in Cheltenham, who we've been working with and have found excellent. They understand your thinking, and it meant that we weren't having to then go and explain to the IP lawyer what it was we were trying to achieve, because there was kind of a three-way conversation going on, and it probably got us to the ideal solution without too many iterations of design concepts and things. As a designer, from the design side of things, it's been great to be able to um, keep in sort of frequent close communication with you, with you guys and bouncing ideas off each other, asking questions when they're needed to. Um, it's just meant that everything sort of felt really, really smooth um, and it's reduced the, the development time of the project, I think, quite considerably. There's been a, a multi-way dialogue going between all those different parties that's actually worked really well, actually, to get um, to get to where we are now. We're really pleased we've done this project. We finished up with something here, uh, which is proof of the pudding that we've chosen the right sort of partners, that um, we, we can make this, it's relatively low cost and, uh, and it looks good. And we're looking forward to how this is gonna take off in the market. 